Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Peritoneal fold and their contents. So to begin with, first is the lesser momentum. So under this lesser momentum, it includes the hepatoduodenal ligament as well as the hepatogastric ligament. So hepatoduodenal ligament as well as the hepatogastric ligament. So now let's look at the each of their findings. So the hepatoduodenal means that there is a hepatic artery and there is also a portal vein. Also there is CBD that is a common bile duct. Next when you look at the hepatogastric ligament, it includes the right and the left gastric vessels. So in terms of the hepatoduodenal, it was a hepatic artery portal vein and the common bile duct. And in terms of the hepatogastric ligament, it is a right and left gastric veins, vessels. So next is the great momentum. And a greater momentum, this is uh, along the greater curvature of the stomach. So greater curvature of the stomach. So what are the contents here? It is nothing but the right and the left gastroepiploic vessels. So it is the right and the left. And it is a gastroepiploic. Gastroepiploic vessels. Next, let's move on to the gastrosplenic ligament. So what are the components of the gastrosplenic ligament? So gastrosplenic ligament, it includes the short gastric. So it includes the short gastric and also the left gastroepiploic branches. There's a left gastroepiploic branches. And this is nothing but of the splenic artery. This is of the splenic artery. Then we move on to the gastro. So we move on to the gastro colic so this was the gastrosplenic ligament that is the short gastric and the left gastroepiploic branch of the splenic artery now we look at the gastrophrenic so the gastrophrenic ligament it is uh, it involves the left inferior splenic artery so it is a left inferior phrenic artery so left inferior phrenic artery Next is, we move on to the gastrocolic ligament. So gastrocolic ligament means the content is the right gastrophrenic artery. So in gastrophrenic, it is the left inferior phrenic artery and gastrocolic, it is the right gastrophrenic artery. Then we move on to the splenorenal and the lenorenal ligament. Splenorenal as well as the lenorenal ligament. So here it involves the splenic vessels. So what is involved? The splenic vessels, they are involved. As well as they contain a tail of the pancreas. So the tail of the pancreas are also seen. Then we move on to the mesentery. So in terms of the mesentery, it includes the jejuna. So the jejuna as well as the ileal branches. So jejunal and the ileal branches, and this is nothing but of the superior mesentery artery. That is SMA. Next is the transverse mesocolon. This is the transverse mesocolon. So in terms of the transverse mesocolon, there is a middle colic vessels, presence of the middle colic vessels. So now let's recap what we did here. So in terms of the gastrocolic ligament, the content is the right gastrobilbaric artery. And looking at the SR and the LR, that is the splenorenal as well as the lenorenal ligament. This involves the splenic vessels as well as it contains the tail of the pancreas. Then we move on to the mesentery. 
So mesentery it involves the jejunal and the ileal branches, and this is of the superior mesentery artery. So mesentery and mesentery, that is mesentery is for superior mesentery artery. Then the transverse mesocolon. Transverse mesocolon it involves the middle colic vessels. So lastly, we are left out with the sigmoid mesocolon. So what is happening in the sigmoid mesocolon? So here in sigmoid mesocolon, the sigmoid and the superior rectal vessels are involved. So sigmoid as well as superior rectal vessels are involved. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.